Hey guys, our topic today is basically about the frequencies used by second generation GSM networks. Now I know that frequencies are not the most exciting things to talk about and it's probably a bit dry subject as well, but frequencies are extremely important in a mobile network. In fact, without frequencies, there's no communication between you, your phone, and the mobile network. The mobile signal that connects your phone, your mobile phone, your cell phone to the mobile network base station is actually using some sort of frequency to be able to communicate wirelessly. And that is why frequencies play a vital role in mobile networks. Mobile network operators spend millions and millions of dollars in buying the frequency spectrum. And that spectrum is basically the frequency that is used by the mobile networks. These frequencies allow the mobile operators to be able to create channels or bandwidths through which they can reach you. The GSM networks use four frequency bands primarily. So they use the 900 band, the 850 band, the 1800 band, and the 1900 band. The 900 and 1800 combination is mostly used in Europe, Middle East, Africa, Asia, and Australia. The 850 and 1900 megahertz combo or combination is used in North America and South America. GSM mobile networks are one of the most widely deployed second generation cellular technology standards around the globe. GSM can operate in multiple frequency bands including, but not limited to, the 900 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, 850 megahertz and 1900 megahertz frequency bands. So the 900 and 1800 megahertz, uh, this combination is mainly used in Europe, Asia, Africa, Middle East and Australia. And uh, the 850 and 1900 combination is mainly used in North and South America. GSM networks use the uh, frequency division duplex or FDD duplex scheme that requires separate frequency bands for the uplink and downlink transmissions. The opposite of FDD is time division duplex or TDD where time slots separate the uplink and downlink transmissions within the same frequency band. Now this bit about FDD and TDD is really important, all right? And uh, while it may seem a little bit theoretical right now, it will make a lot of sense when I show you one of the slides that talks about ARFCNs, absolute radio frequency channel numbers. Now let's have a look at this table on your screen. What we're seeing here are three columns. The first one is a list of all the bands, all the frequency bands. The second one shows the regions or areas within which these frequencies are used. And the last one shows the exact range of the frequencies being used. So as you can see, the first band is the primary 900 band. Now this is the original band that was first defined for GSM. It ranges from 890 megahertz to 960 megahertz and is used in Europe, Asia, Africa, Middle East and Australia. Okay, so that's the primary band. But then there's another 900 megahertz band, which is the extended GSM band. So in GSM, they later introduced some additional frequencies to accommodate more channels. This extended band ranges from 880 megahertz to 960 megahertz. Then the GSM 1800 band for the same region ranges from 1710 megahertz to 1880 megahertz. And on the American side, so both North and South America, the 850 band is from 824 megahertz to 894 megahertz. And the 1900 band for the American region is from 1850 megahertz to 1990 megahertz. Now let's have a look at something called ARFCN or absolute radio frequency channel numbers. So remember what I said earlier, GSM is based on FDD or frequency division duplex, which basically means separate frequencies for uplink and downlink. Each ARFCN is a combination of uplink and downlink channels taken from the frequency range specified for uplink and downlink in GSM. 
The uplink frequency range in primary GSM is 890 to 915 MHz, then there's a bit of a gap or god band, and then the downlink range starts from 935 to 960 MHz. The uplink range in extended GSM is 880 MHz to 915 MHz, then there's a bit of a gap or god band, and then the downlink range starts from 925 MHz to 960 MHz. If you look at the ARFCNs, then for the primary band, they range from 1 to 124. Each number refers to a combination of uplink and downlink frequency channels. In the extended GSM band, it changes. So the ARFCN starts from 0 instead of 1, so 0 to 124, and then 975 to 1023. Now let's have a look at this table. So this table is for GSM 1800, where the uplink ranges from 1710 to 1785 megahertz, and then there's a gap, and then the downlink ranges from 1805 to 1880 megahertz. And finally, the 850 and 1900 frequency bands. So these are the bands that are used in America, so North and South America. So in the 850 band, the uplink ranges from 824 MHz to 849 MHz, then there's a gap, and then the downlink ranges from 869 MHz to 894 MHz. In the 1900 band, the uplink ranges from 1850 MHz to 1910 MHz, then there's a gap, and then the downlink ranges from 1930 MHz to 1990 MHz. Thanks for watching the video guys, I've written a very detailed post on this topic. Have a look at the link in the description below.